Well, here we find ourselves again with another uh, paint pour episode. I'm going to try something, I don't know, geez, I think I've said this before, something different. Um, I am going to do a split colored canvas. The top is going to be this, um, bra uh, well, I don't know, it's a buff colored. It's called Metallic Paint Collection um, Satin Finish, and this is nickel. And then the bottom, which will be a little less, um, it was not going to be 50-50, it'll be less of this color. This is called Champagne by the same manufacturer. And then these are all pretty much uh, Liquitex, uh, well except for Amsterdam White. I've got some silver. Um, this is, what is this one, Deep Violet, Magenta. Uh, Viridian and uh, Thalo Blue, I believe. Let me, let me double check. It's a dark one. Oh, Persian, uh, Prussian Blue, excuse me. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'm going to do a Dutch Blow of sorts. So we'll see what happens when I get the colors down and uh, break out the blower. We'll have a good time. This is Richard saying, stand by. I'll be back when we get ready. Okay, here's where the rubber meets the road, as we say. Uh, this, this, this paint's a little tricky, but it's fun when you get it down. It runs really quickly uh, on the sides. I may have to do something different later after it dries. But the question becomes, how do I lay this down and what, I'm going to blow it. And boy, this stuff is really thin. So I think I will start with some of this. and maybe a touch of that because I got to be honest with you and I'm not sure how this is going to blow out um, because this paint is not like the normal white background we use So, yep, I think it's safe to say we're going to have some fun today. I'm going to put some white in here. And what color am I missing? Oh, maybe a little bit of this nasty purple. Purple's not nasty. I've got to be honest and say that I, I, uh, these are not my like personal favorite colors. Um, but you know, you got to do things that are outside your comfort level. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that thinks these colors are just peachy. We'll find out. Yep, my pet gorilla here got stuck in there. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow it. He who hesitates is lost. Uh, I guess I'll go this way first and see what I end up with. Ready? Okay. This is going to be fun. That's what you did. There we go. I won't say that that just flipped on my floor, but it just flipped on my floor. Boy, am I going to be in trouble. Here we go. Quit while I'm ahead. Isn't this unique? Let me get out the torch. I have some bubbles. 
air bubbles. Oh, look at this. What fine interaction do we have here today? We have some bubbles, some happy lacing. I'll be darned. I wonder if I should use a little bit of mini blower. I can't get a painting in without mini. Ready? Ready, mini? I want to get rid of a little bit of this. You know what? I kind of like that. I wasn't knowing, I didn't know what to expect with this, with these colors, let alone the paints. But I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna develop into something really kind of unique. So, I think I just might leave that. Might take the blower, the uh, pro paint or the butane to it again here in a minute. But let's see if I come in a little. Zoom in a little bit. Isn't that fun? It will, well, I guess you could hang it either way, but I was thinking of having it up and down and not sideways, but that would be up to the viewer's choice. Uh, I need to clean the edges a little bit and let that dry. How unique. Okay, uh, for the moment, this is Richard saying, well, thanks for watching, and if I do anything different, I'll come back and give you an update. Otherwise, I'm going to call this fun and good and done. So, this is Richard saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, you know, I may follow up with a little close up, but I'll do that here in a minute. So, stand by. I didn't, I'm not leaving. <laughs> okay, here we go. I fiddled a little bit more with the mini blower and did a few more little wispies. And I think I'm going to call this good. The color palette is interesting to say the least i think the colors go fairly well together and um, i like the background this is the dark colored pearly kind of stuff here and this is the lighter one at this end and all together they make for a pleasing uh, visual attraction so let's call this a finished product and a great pour so this is the last time I'm saying stand by, not stand by, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. As Richard B. saying, thanks for watching.